again and I pity you, Rex Reed. I don't despise you, but I pity you. Now tell me what's the matter with my show, boy. Well, now that you ask, first of all, the A-team gets a big fat F in my book. It beats me who the hell these clowns are. The only interesting one of the bunch is this fellow right here, but that's because he looks like Tina Turner on steroids. team and you better watch it because if you don't I'm gonna come over your house and make you watch it live with your mama <laughs> and that's why I see I pity the man who don't watch my show Mr. T please just shut up for a second I feel I simply have to tell people what that show of yours is really like hey man who are you I'm Rex Reed and I criticize things for a living and honestly in the case of your show it was worse than doing hard labor on a chain gang I'd rather get a lethal injection in Huntsville than have to watch that piece of plop again how'd you like to get a lethal injection a kicks in your butt <laughs> please calm <laughs> Calm down, I'm serious. I can't let you promote a show that I penned. I'm beginning to pity you, Rex Reed. I don't despise you, but I pity you. Now tell me what's the matter with my show, boy. Well, now that you ask, first of all, the A-team gets a big fat F in my book. It beats me who the hell these clowns are. The only interesting one of in the bunch is this fellow right here, but that's because he looks like Tina Turner on steroids. <laughs> Now, I hope I've made myself clear. You made yourself non-existent after that last remark, boy. Are you threatening me? Mr. T, never have to threaten a man. I never threaten nobody. I just fold my arms like this and glare into the camera. Watch. <laughs> oh, God, now he's constipated. <laughs> Listen, ladies and gentlemen, don't listen to this big lug here. The A-Team is a perfectly lousy show, but he's cute, so don't say I didn't warn you. I pity the people who don't watch my show. I pity the people that do watch my show. 